Hello, thank you for joining me. I've just arrived at Tamworth on this Class 350. This is Tamworth on the West Coast Main Line. Today is an episode of Miniature Railway Britain. So this is as far as the Main Line is going to take me. What I've got to do, I've got to go and find a vintage bus and that is going to take me to where this Miniature Railway is. So I found the bus stop just outside Tamworth station. We're going to Stackfold Barn because although most of the railways there are narrow gates, there's now the Meese Valley Light Railway open last year. So because that's miniature, that qualifies for an episode of Miniature Road Britain. Now the buses are run by the Transport Museum at Wyville or Wivel. There is also a miniature railway there. I have been on that in the past. At some point in the future, we're gonna to have to go there and do an episode of Miniature Road Britain. So I'm just gonna wait for the bus to turn up now. So I've just got off the bus, I'm in the car park. Now since my last visit, it's all changed a bit. My plan today wasn't to do a site tour and I'm not gonna do a tour of the general site because if you wanna see that, have a look at my video from last time. But there's this area here and none of this was here when I last visited. So I'm gonna do a little site tour of this bit. This is before we've actually paid to go in. So I'll just let you see some of, there's various industrial locals, as you can hear, there's some working steam not too far away, so you've got couple of diesels, you've got this over here, hob barrow and industrial loco, you've got this one, um, looks like an ex-industrial loco from another country by the look of it, um, so got some interest, you've got some, look, a crane tank loco, that's standard gauge, yeah, and then the little diesel in front is two foot gauge, and then you've got another shed here of some interesting vehicles, so we'll have a quick look at them, then we'll go inside. You can hear a steam loco. So we've got a few simplex from Bedford there, diesels, a couple of funky diesels. We got these two, these worked in a quarry in Wales. They would actually had overhead like um overhead cables so that they're electric locos. A couple more diesels on these huns. That's probably not that old. That's probably built in the 90s. It worked um, it says Lee Valley Cable Tunnel. And then these are non-rail vehicles. One more diesel loco, and then, it's quite exciting, a Land Rover. As you can see, it's on, um, it's a railway, it's converted to a railway Land Rover, so you can't drive that down the road. And then just in the corner, there's an ex-South Tyndale railway carriage. Behind that hedge, as you can probably hear, there's a steam loco on the narrow gauge line. So we'll go over, I'll have a ride on that. What I'm gonna do though, there's a gala on. So most of the video of the gala, I'm gonna put in a separate video and that will have already been published by the time you watch it. So I won't be in that video, just be pure steam, or nearly pure steam action, but just pure action. So anyway, let's go and enjoy that full part. Just arrived at the other end of the line. We've had a trip behind this American loco. So that's really something quite different. There's all sorts of locos running. As I say, most of this will be covered in my video on the Gala. As for the Miniature Railway, I'm now about as far away from the site as the Miniature Railway as possible. The plan is we'll get back on the train. That'll take us right up round there. And if you look across the site, um, every time I look across, I can see something moving. I can just see the train going along there with some Darjeeling carriages, locomotive Fiji. So the Miniature Railway is over the other side of those trees. So that's where we've got to get the train back to. Just give you Loco's finished flowing off. Look at this, this is some funny sort of fantasy land. This isn't the miniature railway. It looks like it's um, got all these funny little houses and it's like they've got like a mining railway. And then there's like a pit head gear over there. So that's um, quite interesting. They have family days here, not so dedicated for enthusiasts. So if you were to come to one of those, you might come and have a look at this. 
I'm going to go and get back on the train though. We're going to, as I say, we're going to go for a ride and uh, go and find a miniature railway. So I'm back down now to the other end of the site. As I said, if you want to see a tour of the site, have a look at the video I made last time. Here is the miniature railway. If you want to see. So that's its sheds. There's a turntable there and the station just here. So I'm going to wait for the train to arrive and we're going to go for a ride.
I, I've just been over to when went up to Andrew and Lily. Yeah, and but I, I shan't stay desperately long. No, so because I'm, of the dog. Because yeah. of the dog. Yeah. That's the tie of the dog. Yeah. It is a tie, you know. It's nice having one because it <coughs> makes me get. I mean, I walk on my step tracker a minimum of two miles every day. Really which good, at my yeah. age is fantastic. Yeah. And you get some you know. papers well done. Ever so many. Yeah. Ever so many. Yeah. It's charming. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, she'll be all right till about four-ish, so I Yeah, a little train, Daddy. Yeah. Another train. Another train. Oh, it's a gun, Daddy. What colour is this train? Oh, oh it's You know, he did red. That. The passenger carriages are red. Yeah. What about the front bit? What, what colour is the engine? The front bit. Is it green? Can you see? Where the driver is? Green. Look, it's green. And red. And a bit red.
so the day finishes up on a bus and we're going to go over to level crossing over the miniature railway so it's been a really good day i've really enjoyed it yeah as i say by the time you watch this the miniature railway, by the time you watch this video the uh, video of the gala will have gone out i'd like to have done a bit more with the miniature railway but with so much going on on the two foot gauge line um i didn't have as much time i could do with sort of two days here rather than one anyway um we're kind of coming back into the site where I'm about to leave. I got on as he came in and had a bit of an extra ride. So hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Do come and visit Statfold Barn. Check when they're running because they do all sorts of different days. Um, if you like railways, the gala days are the best ones to go to. And if you like buses, you can have a bus ride. If you want to come here by train, you can use the bus like I did to get you up from the railway station to Statfold Barn itself. So thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment and from the car park overlooking the railway station over there